Well, the first thing we better get out of the way is the sad old lady face so that I have that dramatic difference with the before and the after for the cover shot. So here we go. Sad, pathetic old lady face. Okay, now that we got that crap out of the way. <laughs> Today we are doing something that scares the crap out of me. I am walking and talking, uh, getting my hair out of my face to get ready with me with its usual frazzledness that I do. Oh, that's unattractive. That's gonna bother me the whole shoe. Uh, okay, ooh, left eye's a little red. The sneezing attack apparently had its effect. Face is clean. Bravina, moisturizing the heck out of my skin. See, I kept my language clean. I want to apologize right now. I mistakenly left the cat's water fountain running, so that is the water trickling noise that you hear throughout this video. And Sequel is on his wheel because apparently setting up the lights and getting ready to make a video tells him that it's time to exercise. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, I'm gonna be turning the air conditioning on through much of this video anyway, so I'll be cutting out the sound and just going, you know, with music. Uh, forgive me for that, but thank you. Good kitty. I am going to a movie premiere tonight. Not a movie that I am in, a premiere for a friend's movie, and it is a horror film. And yeah, I thought it would be fun to do a very dramatic look, something really a little bizarre, a little different. Well, not bizarre, but you know, this is Hollywood and I could put on a dress that's plunged down to my navel and is basically a belt, you know, short up to my crotch and, and bare legs and six inch stiletto heels and nobody would bat an eyelash. I'm going with something that's buttoned up to here and I'm going to wear a hat. So let's get to it, shall we? Uh, first thing you wanna do is prep your skin with the best possible moisturizer you can. You really do want to let that soak into your skin before you go ahead with foundation. You know, I'm really off of primers. I just, I don't, I don't get as excited about primers as I once did. So skipping the primer. The first thing I'm going to do is use eyelid tape. You saw me use eyelid tape, I believe, when I did the Sharknado premiere. Yes, the tape shows a little bit, but only when it's really, really up close, and nobody's gonna see me that up close other than you. I still have not done the video about lids by design. I sent away for a kit that has a variety of sizes, so I am experimenting with that. Today I'm going to try just using one and just on the right eye. The right eye, as you can see, has a little bit of a hoodedness to it. So we are going to apply the tape to get rid of that hoodedness. This is a larger tape than I used before. It was a four mil millimeter the last time. I'm guessing that this is an eight millimeter. And rather than grabbing it by the edge, which left a little thing that popped up, I'm gonna try to grab it from the middle and see if that gives me better adhesion. So this is a Friends film. David and I have known each other for, God, probably longer than either of us wants to admit. Going in 
to do this. I hope you can see fairly well. You want to, oh, I don't want to grab it there. You want to apply this right on the line there. Using the heat of your fingers, you want to press on it for 10 seconds. That heat is going to give the tape superior adhesion. This is a surgical grade tape. This is not just regular tape. And I will tell you that I think that eight millimeter is too big on my eye and I'm going to take that off. All of my purists are screaming right now, no, it's too yellow. Yeah, I can see that now. Clearly, I gotta go makeup, makeup shopping. Can't do anything about it now. Joe Blasco, orange highlight one. The orange highlight two that I tried when I had a spray on tan is definitely way too dark and peachy for tonight. RCMA Makeup Forever No Color Powder. For expediency's sake, I have a couple of paper towels laid out here on my table, and I just drop the powder on there. Eyebrows were microbladed two weeks ago. They are still in the healing process. At first they were very dark and very stark. And now you can see that they're sort of, I've got patches. So for that reason, I'm going to use a little bit of eyeshadow on an angled brush. This is, crap, it's been a while since I used this. It is Physician's Formula Canyon Classics.
Gosh, I don't even remember what I told you about where we're going. This may all be repetitive. I may have to cut this out. Um, going to a friend's movie. Decided, you know, sometimes you just get to be in your bonnet and you want to do something that's a little different and you want to do something that's a little out there. And fashion is about taking risks. And so I'm going to wear something that might be a little risky. I've been, I've been wanting to wear a hat, you know, just like a little fascinator out. And this is Los Angeles. Nobody wears hats in Los Angeles. That is just not done. That is not an LA thing. But Lady Gaga did it at the Venice Film Festival and looked amazing. And if it's good enough for Gaga, I think it's certainly good enough for me. Now, she's got an amazing team and, and she's wearing designer stuff. And that is not in my budget. I am wearing a very inexpensive hat. And I am really, really hoping that this look comes together and isn't completely laughable. Um, but that's about, that's the risk you take, you know? I may be laughed at. People may think I'm a joke. They may think I look like a 1950s stewardess. I don't know. We'll find out. Really simple eye makeup. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to play with this Sigma palette that I haven't really used in a while. Um, I'm going to stick with these colors that are sort of, whoops, this might stick my finger in it, with these sort of like, these three colors. This is, this is sort of the palette that I'm going to play in. I applied that first on the lid with the Sigma Diffused Crease Brush, and now I'm using my Domed Utility Brush, also by Sigma. I don't think I did the eyeshadow at all well, but you know, I think that by the time I'm done, nobody's gonna be really looking at my eyes. Um, so I got a wonderful treat from Besame Cosmetics. I don't know if you're familiar with them. They do a line of vintage cosmetics and vintage inspired cosmetics. 
and I've been in their store in Burbank and I'm a fan of their products and they sent me a few things for free so I'm going to be playing with them tonight. This is blush. I can't tell you more because I'm blind and well I just don't have much time as usual but I'll put the details down below for you. <laughs> I really, I hope this is barely there. I hardly want any blush to show. I want to be just lips and eyes. I'm just putting on enough blush so that I don't look like a dead person. It's a very pretty blush. I like that a lot. I'm going to be enjoying it and we will play with that more in the future. I don't know yet whether I'm going to put highlighter on. I'm waiting to see the whole thing come together. They sent me, this is super exciting. I'm, I never wear lipsticks this dark. This is their Wild Orchid, which is based on a color from 1950, 1952. And you can see the packaging is just so adorable. It's just so vintagey. Look at that lipstick. Look at it! Isn't that amazing? Yikes! I'm super excited. Can you tell? Uh, this lip liner is Palladio and it is Merlot. Here we go, first time I've ever used it. Oh, it's so cute, it's engraved on the edge of it. Can't even see what that is, but it's adorable. I'm going to do something a little crazy. This is a rubber stamp to do a winged liner. I've only had moderate success with this in the past, so um, certainly it's something that I should attempt to do on a night that I'm gonna be photographed and on the red carpet and yeah, sure. That's what smart people do. Try things for the first time or do things you don't do well when you're going out in public. This rubber stamp is marked left and right. I will put on my glasses so that I can see my left from my right. Here is the right one. Ooh, well, I don't think I'm doing this. It seems dry as can be. Nope, scratch that, that's not happening. Alrighty then, this would be um, ink stamp, vamp, the vamp stamp, the only way to wing it, and uh, dry as a bone, don't buy it. So there you go, there's my review.
Here's my review of the Vamp Stamp. It's completely dry on a night that I intended to use it, so. Um, not going for winged liner then. Just gonna put on some uh, black eyeliner in um, NYX Epic Ink Black. Okay, I gotta get a move on here because my friend Nancy's gonna be here in 20 minutes. I cannot take you with me to get my hair done. I played with it last night. I have a small bathroom and in order to see all sides, I need to be able to turn the mirrors in different ways. And the mirror that I need to move is the mirror that you would be hanging on because I hang my ring light with the right there on the mirror, so it's physically impossible for me to bring you in. But I'll try to pop out and show you steps, if I can, in the 20 minutes that I have left to get ready. First, let's get some eyelashes on. These are my Ardell Black 305. Let's get a little more mascara on first. I really should have done both eyes. It's lighter there and I don't know what to do about it. Maybe I can try putting a spot of a light eyeshadow there. Let me try this. This is my Canyon Classics quad and it has this light. Clean off this domed utility brush. You know, someday I want to have enough money to be able to hire makeup artists to do my makeup for events. That would be lovely. That's right, sequel. I think so. You are right about that. 
How did such a little, little kitty get so smart? Good kitty. Well, I may just look like some old crazy lady at this event, so if that's the case, then so be it. Is what it is. I know! Your mama's an old crazy lady. What do you think of that? Yeah, crazy cat lady. You're right. You're right. Mama's dehydrated. She can tell at her skin. Need to drink more water, Monique. And what, what are you gonna do? In 10 minutes, you're gonna be having a glass of wine. Oh, and the clock's ticking. Those eyes are so freaking uneven. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, let's go get this hair did. Step one on the hair. I am wearing a topper because it is a cheap, inexpensive hat. It doesn't fit as tight to my head as I would like. By wearing the topper, that gives me a little more hair right there, so that fills in that space. That's the whole reason I'm wearing the topper. So, there you go. Wearing the topper much further forward on my head than I usually do. Looks pretty nice like this. Now, I continue. Focus, money. Also, at this point out, you get me in a bra, because you know how it is. At least I'm wearing a bra. Okay, ponytail in the back. 
needed this hair in the front because topper, or topper, <laughs> fascinator is on a headband and I don't want that to show. It's going right there. It's going right. could just leave the hair down. That would make it much simpler. Now, took one, took that piece of hair, wrapped it back over the band, along these lines, till it covered the, the headband, and then I wrapped it around the ponytail. Going to go do that on this side now. Pinned the net back on the hat because it was making me bonkers, just doing a little tucking and smoothing on this side. Stop a bird in flight. Hairspray. Let's also get... I'll do the same thing on this side once I have this dried. And now I'm gonna take the ponytail and I'm literally just going to roll it up on itself and pin it in a loose sort of updo theory. Okay, here's how the hair looks in the back. And a uh, little more lips. Gosh, that tickles. That's gonna take some getting used to. I'm gonna get dressed and I will see you on the red carpet for Extremity. John's documentary, he he it it goes there and something. You you kind of realize that the behind the scenes they don't really have as much control as you think they do. And there's you know they say it's safe, but you don't know. You don't know who you're bringing. You don't know who you're inviting. It, it, this is a cautionary tale for both sides of the spectrum. You don't know. You don't know who you're going to see, and you don't know who you're inviting into your your little haunt experience. It could be someone like Allison. Woo! Woo! <laughs>